It is Thursday night, December 20th. We wish you a happy holiday season as we welcome you to Midland High School. It is time for high school basketball as the Crosstown battle about to get underway. Boys basketball on MTF TV as the Dow High Chargers make the trip across town to take on the Midland High Chemex. The Pet Band has got the crowd rocking here tonight for this uh, contest. The Chemex and the Chargers and we're early in the season. My name is Jason Hart. That is Tom Bell and Tom early on this season. Both of these teams looking for some different things. The Midland High Chemics under veteran coach Eric Krause, they've uh, tweaked their, their, their plan a little bit. It's not an offense-oriented team for Midland High this year. They're focusing on defense. Yeah, and uh, he, he's got it kind of uh, going in a little different way. It makes them a little more aggressive. They uh, kind of run to the ball a little bit on defense. Uh, they get the opposing team to react, and Eric basically said, you got to see it. So I'm excited to be able to see what they are actually doing this year. It'll be interesting to see the changes that Midland has and how that affects the game. For the Dow High Chargers coming in under Coach Mark Dickerson, this is a Charger team that has been bitten by the injury bug, but this is a Dow High Charger team that likes to play kind of a, a, a perimeter kind of style of offense. Yeah, he really likes his shooters, and he can put five three-point shooters on the court at one time, which causes a great deal of difficulty as far as defensive pressure uh, with their opponents. And that's really going to be the key to tonight's game, the defense of Midland High and the offense of Dow High. Which one is going to come out on top? We're going to have to uh, wait and find out what is going to happen. The Midland High pep band is ready for the uh, contest and of course the Kimmicks and the Chargers are ready. In terms of scoring for the Midland High Kimmicks, Isaiah Bridges has led this Midland High team. Yeah, right now he is averaging 23 points a game and uh, he is going to be the focal point for Midland to keep their eye on him to see where he's he is on the court and certainly Dow is going to keep an eye on, on him also. For the Dow High Chargers, Isaac Molinar has been the leading scorer for the Chargers. It'll be very interesting to see who gets to play. There's been a lot of players for this Dow High team that have been out for injuries. A lot of those players have been cleared and are expected to play tonight, but Mark Dickerson played the cards very close to his vest here tonight. He wasn't going to tell us for sure who was going to play, who was going to start, but we do know that Jacob Stone is cleared from his injury and Dickerson Rocky is cleared from his foot injury, so it should it could be a different Dow High team than we have seen the first few games of the season. Let's turn things over to our public address announcer and get ready for high school basketball. Let's turn your attention to the flag at the west end of the gym. Veterans, you may salute the flag and join the Midland High School pet band as they honor America with our national anthem. Senior, 10, Jacob Stone. 
And at four, six, six, junior number 32, Garrett Daniels. And now for the starting line of party four, with the West School Cat! At four, the five, ten, junior number three, Zach Sterling! At four, six, three, senior number ten, Henry Kessler! Compliments of public address announcer Jordan Gadner, and we are set to go with high school basketball on MPS TV, the Midland High Chemic, and the Dow High Chargers, the first of two regular season meetings for these two teams here tonight. And on well, the starting lineup kind of uh, told us a few things about this Dow High Charger team that have several players returning from injury. Jacob Stone is uh, wearing a different number than we expected, but Jacob Stone will be starting coming off of his back and hip injury and also uh, getting the start tonight is, uh, is Anthony Weitler. He's another player that has been battling a little bit of an injury. He's been day-to-day -day with an ankle injury, but he is starting as well for the Chargers. Well, and with Stone in there, that gives Dow High a very formidable front line, 6'7 and 6'6. The tip off, and here we go. The Dow High Chargers winning the tip off. Chargers wearing their, their away green uniforms, gold lettering. Midland High has got their home white uniforms with blue numbering. And the shot taken by the Chargers, no good. The Dow High Chargers out of bounds. Oh, we got a foul call. Didn't take long for the first foul of the game. Dow High Chargers, Sam Drake, Isaac Molinar, Garrett Daniels, Anthony Feitler, and Jacob Stone. The five starters, Midland High, counting with uh, Zach Strike, Henry Kessler, John White, Christian Gordon, and Isaiah Bridges. Feitler got the ball for the Chargers. Down to Sam Drake. Drake, the senior, drives in. Nice dish pass by Drake. And wide open is Feitler, the junior. Coming back from that ankle injury, picks up the bucket. The Chargers with the first basket of the game. Midland High, nice pass inside. Looking for John White, the senior, getting the bucket to fall through. Chargers now coming back down from court onto the other direction. Dow High feeding over to Jacob Stone. And we've got a travel call on Anthony Zeitler. For the Dow High Chargers, you know, Mark Dicker said, excited about the team. He likes the fact that this is a Charger team that is going to grow during this season. Yes, and uh, he sees that they have a very high ceiling uh, and really excited about, about what can be done as long as he can get himself through some of these injuries that they have sustained. Isaiah Bridges, three-pointer, no good. Kessler got the rebound for the Chemex. Working to strike, now quickly over to Kessler. Ball lost out of bounds. It's going to be Charger basketball. Just underway, we played a little over a minute. Dow High leading two to nothing over the Midland High Chemics. Chargers coming in one and three on this season. Midland High three and two. Working the baseline are the Chargers. They're gonna end up throwing the ball away. Well, one of the problems that uh, Dow High has right now is they've got two players that haven't practiced with them much. Uh, recently, they've just gotten cleared to play in the game, and they're trying to find their stride here. And Zeitler and Stone and Nick Soraki's been cleared, although he did not start for the Dow High Chargers. John White looking to go baseline, nice pass to Bridges, and Bridges can't get the friendly bounce. Everything but the bucket for Midland High. Dow High the other direction, Molinar working the basket, picks it up, goes over to Drake. Drake. Works back to Zeitler at the top of the key. Now feeds it over to Jacob Stone. Over to Molinar. Molinar loses the handle, and it's going to be Midland High basketball. Well, you can tell that uh, Midland really knows where Isaac Molinar is, that uh, he is uh, their big scorer on the, the, the Dow side, 
and uh, he's he's the guy that Midland High has to really check well. Nice move there by Midland. Christian Gordon will go to the free throw line for the Chemex. Talking to Eric Krause, you know, a couple of changes that, that he made to, to play a more defense-oriented game, and Eric Krause kind of, that rejuvenated his passion for coaching basketball. Well, he's, he's very quick to say he's been doing this now for 17 years, and he's kind of the senior member of the coaches within the area. Only Roy Johnston actually has more years, and Roy's way down at uh, 40, 41 years, I think, now. But, yeah, this has excited him. On the free throw line, Christian Gordon successful on the free throw line. Now uh, Midland High will make the first substitution as Al Money comes in, the sophomore. For the Dow High, for Midland High coming in. Now the Dow High Chargers working with the basketball. 5.35 to go here in the first quarter. Sam Drake drives into the paint, works it back out around the perimeter. Bounce pass goes inside, but no place to go for Molinar. Now we'll feed it back to Drake for a three-pointer. No good. Chargers will get the rebound, but they can't hold on it. Yes, they do. Nice job by Zeitler of staying without crossing that midcourt line, but then the Chargers turn it over on a traveling call. He got his feet caught up out there. Didn't quite know what he, he how he was going to drive to to the basket. Justin Drabick will check in for the first time for the Chargers. Both teams kind of in that feeling out process early on in the game here tonight. Dow High leading by a point, Midland High now working with the basketball. Chargers coming up, almost briefly had the steal. Midland High able to come back away with the basketball. John White now working to Al Money. A lot of these Midland High players on a very successful football team. So the you know, Eric Krause didn't get a lot of these Midland High <laughs> players until the, the season was ready to start. And that's an adjustment for the players because they are, are playing in a collision sport in football. Basketball's not a collision sport? It's a contact sport. Okay. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to ask. There, there are some bumps and bruises that would, you know, differ that opinion. Just over 4.15 on the clock. Midland High Bridges will drive in, stripped away. Nice defense played by the Dow High Chargers. Three-point shot, no good by Money. Dow High will come back the other direction, lost the handle on it briefly. Now the Chargers come away with it. And we have a foul. And a couple of changes coming in for the Dow High Chargers. Dow High is going to bring Jacob Tomsich into the game for the first time. A couple of dribbles by the junior. Scoring has uh, been in relatively, uh, well, a lot of demand here in the uh, the first half of the first quarter. Molinar into the paint, has it stripped away. Nice defense played by Kessler. And the ball's going to go out of bounds. It's going to stay Charger basketball. Well, dynamic offense, this is not. But uh, we've got a lot of very active hands, and we've got a lot of deflections. Well, I think Eric Kraus is okay with that. He, you know, that new defense is working. Dow High unable to score, and we've got a five-second call. Dow High could not get the ball in bounds. Well, that, that's a credit to, to the defense there. Two to one, almost like a baseball score. Although we are still in the first quarter, so lots of basketball left to be played. Isaiah Bridges, three-pointer count it. Bridges with his first basket of the game. As we mentioned in the pregame, Bridges comes in with about 22 points a game. That's his first three-pointer and the first lead for Midland High. Tomic looking to answer the call. That three-pointer is no good, and Bridges will pull down the rebound. Isaiah Bridges working around to Kessler. 
Now working baseline will go back to Kessler if the Kemets look to set up their offense. Gordon to Bridges. Bridges on the far side, takes up the dribble, no place to go. Now he'll put up the shot. Now, when the offense doesn't work, just shoot the ball. And Bridges with back-to-back -back baskets for Midland. Yeah, it helps when you start at about six foot three. Molinar drives into the paint. He's the leading scorer for Dow High. Molinar averaging close to 20 points a game. With the number of injuries that the Chargers have had, Molinar has had the bulk of the weight of this, of this Charger team on his shoulders. John White working the baseline, and a foul will be called before the shot. So that foul will, will not be a, a shooting foul. Midland High is going to bring Devin Alexander into the game. He was a senior on this Midland High team, and we've got a timeout called with 2.15 to go here in the first quarter, 30-second timeout as Midland High has got a four-point lead. The Skimmick basketball team and this Charger basketball team meeting for the first time this season. You take a look at the Dow High huddle and Coach Mark Dickerson. As a coach, you know you're going to get at one or two injuries, but it seemed like for the Chargers, all the injuries came all at once. Yeah, and it, and a couple of them were football related too. They just he inherited some of these issues, and he's trying to wait till these guys come back. For Stone, it was a, a hip injury that I don't know when he he got that. I had a chance to talk to Mark on the phone earlier in the week, but uh, he, Mark just said he's day to day with, with a hip injury. But, Midland High with the basketball after the timeout. Christian Gordon working over to Isaiah Bridges. We'll feed it to Henry Kessler if the Kimmicks look to set up offense. Two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Nearly stolen away. Nice defense played by Jacob Stone. But the Kimmicks able to keep possession of the ball. Kessler, three-pointer, count it. The senior Henry Kessler coming up with the three. Kimmicks with their biggest lead of the game. Chargers scored the first basket, but they have not scored since. Tomsich working the ball for Dow, passes it right into the hands of Kessler, and Kessler will slow things down. Eric Krause downplayed the fact that the Chargers won three games against Midland last year. The players are well aware of that. Do you think that's going to be a little motivation factor for the Kimmets? Exactly. Yeah, he... He's got a little, little payback, but uh, it's a new season, you know. Uh, new, new combination of players. But uh, I'm not seeing some real good flow yet in this game. There's so many whistles that are being called. And of course, let's not, uh, let's not forget the fact that, you know, Mark Dickerson for years was a assistant coach and a JV coach under the Midland High gimmicks. Yes, and we always felt like Mark Dickerson had a little bit of an advantage, but but now Eric's got this new fangled uh, de defensive uh, philosophy that uh, is totally different from what Mark remembers seeing when he coached. Three-pointer by Midland Heights. Kessler is no good. Chargers will get the rebound. Scott Stokes has checked into the game for Dow High. Stokes picks up the dribble, feeds it back out to his right. Chargers working on the far side under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Garrett Daniels working the ball back out over to Stone. Quick passes around the perimeter by the Dow High Chargers. Nick Siraki, we talked about whether or not Siraki would play. He's on the floor now for the Dow High Chargers, but Dow High turning the ball away. Siraki suffering a foot injury during the football season. This is his first game that he has played in all season. You know, I'm wondering, I don't have this in my game notes, but uh, the Stoltz, uh, Scott Stoltz, I bet he's the grandchild of Denny Stoltz, the former Michigan State football coach. Because Denny was a football coach at Dow after he had, grad had, after he had retired and what was just helping out. We'll, I, get our, uh, we'll get our research staff on that now. <laughs> find out if you're right or not. Well, if I'm wrong, we'll certainly find out that way, too. If you're so. wrong, it's a great story, so <laughs> we're going to stick with it. Kessler working the ball, 10 seconds to go. He had the first quarter, driving in. John White puts the shot up and gets the friendly roll. White with the basket. Final seconds of the first quarter, long shot. Mm. Take it is no good. 
And how about the fact that Dow High scored the first two points of the quarter and then Midland High scoring 11 points in a row. And at the end of the first quarter, Midland High leading Dow 11 to two. Mark Dickerson has got to be concerned about the fact that you put up two points in eight minutes of basketball. Well, he's got a mixture of players that, uh, it's those that have practiced together and those that have just lately become eligible to practice slash play. And, uh, you know, it's just a brand new chemistry right now. And to play against your crosstown rival when you're getting used to it, this might happen. Uh, this game, one of uh, multiple high school sporting events that you can watch on MCTV and MPS TV this winter season. We have got, uh, well, hockey or a couple of weeks ago, wrestling just recently, and of course, basketball and hockey will come your way in the new year as well. Check out all of the action on MPS TV. It's channel 190 on Charter. It's also available on AT&T UVerse on channel 99. You can find out the dates and times of the replay by checking out the Midland Daily News on Sunday or by going to the MidlandPS.org, the Midland Public Schools website to find out replay times. And of course, you can also watch the broadcast in high definition on YouTube. Once again, so uploaded. Nice. There we so, are, Jason Harper, Tom Bell, and a great staff of MCTV volunteers bringing you the broadcast of the game tonight. The Midland High Chemics leading 11 to two as we get ready for the second quarter of this high school basketball contest. So with all this razzle dazzle stuff, does it mean they pay us more? They, well, you have to negotiate and they agreed to pay everything that you have signed your contract for in the past. <laughs> John White with a steal, and they're gonna call goaltending. Count the basket. So John White with the basket, Midland High 13 unanswered here tonight. So what you're saying is it's a percentage raise. You got pizza tonight, be quiet. There was pizza? I okay. don't remember. Maybe you didn't get, you should have got pizza tonight. Um, I didn't even get popcorn. You got to read the fine print. Okay. Chargers on the far side. Scott Stoltz working over the Kimmich, really picking up the defensive pressure. This is what Eric Krause wanted. Eric Krause, very animated. You can see him at the top of your screen, and we're going to have a foul call. But that's what Krause wants. That is that defensive pressure. It's kind of exciting to watch. Well, it's got the crowd involved right now. In fact, that was really the first time that I, I saw Dow really kind of dumbfounded with what they what they can do. The Chargers with the basketball, but they are down early here in the second quarter. Driving in, but we're going to have a foul on the floor. Isaac Molinar had a nice drive, but he was fouled. That benefits the Midland High Kimmicks. We've got a couple of subs coming into the game. Jacob Stone will re-enter, and Sam Drake comes back in. 11-point lead for Midland High. We're early on in the second quarter. This is the non-Valley game between these two teams. Three-pointer by Stoltz, way off the mark. Midland High will come back the other direction. I'm not sure if that was the shot that Mark Dickerson wanted his team to take. Money working the ball, feeds it over to Drew Berry, who checked in recently. Now John White comes in, but White can't get the shot to go. Rebound pulled down by Alexander. Putback shot is no good. And a foul call during the battle of the rebound will go against the Chargers. Each team with four team fouls here in the first half. Now, Devin Alexander has been a real surprise for uh, Eric Krause. He hasn't played high school ball till this year, and he's a senior, and he's been a real uh, welcomed addition to this team. Isaiah Bridges will check back in. John White will take his first break. Alexander, 6'4", senior for the Midland High Chemics. One of two on the free throw line is Alexander. 14 to two in favor of Midland High, 6.35 to go in the second quarter. Seitler working the ball, feeds it to Molinar. Molinar drives in, can't get the friendly bounce, and Isaiah Bridges will get the rebound. Midland comes back the other direction. 
Bridges over to Al Money. Money feeds it into Bridges. Nice pass and a good spin move. Bridges able to lay it in. The Kimmicks have got 16 unanswered points racked up on the board against this Charger team. Did that move remind you of Nick Ward of the Spartans? It looked, it looked pretty good. Zeitler will feed the ball over to Molinar. Molinar tries to go inside. Bridges will knock it away. It's going to stay Dow high ball. You know, a lot of people love offense. If you watch the NBA, it's nothing but offense. Yeah. I love this defense style that Midland High is playing. But you know the person that's burning the most calories? Eric Krause. Krause. <laughs> <laughs> Very animated is Eric Krause. He gets the job done. Directing this young Midland High team. A lot of seniors, but relatively young. Charger, Seitler. Working the ball around to Sam Drake. Now feeds it over to Molinar. Three-pointer is no good. Midland will get the rebound, knocked out of bounds, but it will be Kimmick basketball. Zachary Strike will check back in for Midland. Shane Jude will check in for the first time for the Chargers. Well, before the game started, we were looking at this as being a really aggressive and probably competitive game. And uh, Midland has, has come over uh, scored 16 consecutive points. Well, we're nearing in on 10 minutes that the Chargers have not scored a basket. Yeah. They scored early in the game and they have been held without a point ever since that, uh, that time. And I don't know when they scored the basket, but it was within the first minute of the game. Yeah, and it was one, two to one Dow for a long, long time. Couple of dribbles by Jude, pulls up, long two-pointer, count it. That will stop the, uh, the streak and Dow High with a much needed basket by Jude. 16 to four, just under five minutes to go here in the second quarter. Al Money, three-pointer, count it. Money answering the call. Gets the bucket to fall through for Midland High. They're looking to increase their lead. Chargers now, spin move by Molinar, count it. I think Dow High may be a little more relaxed than what they were. The Chargers seemed very uptight early on in this contest. A couple of baskets may loosen them up as Eric Krause calls a 30-second timeout. Yeah, I, I think he's upset that Dow hit two shots in a row. I mean, uh, I mean, his defense is doing very, very well, but Dow is a potent shooting team that just hasn't found their stride yet. This game will be closer. And 19 to 6 is where we stand in favor of the Midland High Kimmicks. And the Kimmicks really have, uh, you know, balanced the scoring here in the first half. Bridges has seven, uh, White has four, and Money has three, and also Kessler has three. So balanced scoring for the most part. Midland High with the ball. John White with the shot. John White with the basket. The 6'3 senior, he can do a lot of things on the floor, pass, shoot, defense. He's definitely a player that does it all. Three-point shot taken by Jude is still good, and the Kimmicks able to get the rebound. Yeah, White is playing with a lot of poise. Strike working the ball to Bridges. Bridges feeds it to Gordon. As the Kimmicks work around the perimeter, Gordon drives in and stolen away. Nice job by Sam Drake. Drake will pull up on his dribble, feeds it over to Jacob Stone. Stone goes on the baseline, and a foul is going to be called. It's uh, going to be on the floor. And that will bring the Kimmicks making a substitution. Al Money will check back in. Only a quick break for Money. 3.44 to go in the second quarter. Midland High 21, Dow High 6. High school basketball on MPS TV. A great crew on hand. MCTV staff and volunteers bringing you this action. Wrestling airing as well. We had hockey earlier in the month. All kinds of athletic events. And there's a nice move there. Isaac Molinar driving to the bucket. Molinar is the leading scorer tonight for Dow High. Well, one thing to keep our eye on is uh, 
uh, whether or not uh, both uh, Zeitler and Stone continue to be in kind of game form that they're nearly coming away with a steal. That's a great effort by Sam Drake. Wasn't successful, but came close to coming up with that steal. Three minutes to go here in the second quarter. Ball stolen away by Dow High. Molinar comes up with the steal. Feeds it over to Zeitler. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound, John White will pull it down for Midland. Kimmich slowing down the pace. I think Mark Dickerson will be happy to see more aggressive defense. Bridges drives in. Nice move there by Bridges. And some things you just can't stop. Bridges may be one of those things. And he has nine points now. Molinar with the basketball for the Chargers. Goes to the top of the key. Feeds it back over now to Shane Jude and a great block. John White, there's a great defensive play. It's going to remain Charger basketball, but what a play by White. And what a play by Jude at the end that he was able to slam the ball in White's feet at that point. But uh, yeah, that was a great play by both of them, actually. Chargers will inbound the basketball. Molinar will have it for the Chargers. He's been the leader of this Dow High team with a number of injuries, and Molinar will still continue to be a leader. He's a great basketball player, even getting a couple of looks from some uh, college teams. And the, But with the returning players from injury, that should make Molinar's job easier. On the other side, Christian Gordon with a three-pointer first basket of the game, I believe, for Gordon. 20-point Midland High lead with 1.45 to go in the first half. Chargers, Shane Jude will work the basketball, floats that around to the far side. Couple of dribbles as Seitler looks defeated inside to Jude, but it's stolen away. Nice defense by Midland. Al Money forces the shot up, can't get it to go, doesn't get the foul called either. And now Seitler will come back the other way. Molinar, and he will be fouled. No, they're going to call a charge against Molinar. Was it an elbow when he made the turn? I'm not sure. And that is okay. going to be extra. There, they, yeah, it was Molinar that got called, so that's the second foul on Molinar. So Mark Dickerson is going to bring Nick Siraki into the game, and Molinar will head to the bench, I'm sure, for the remainder of the half. Yeah, with a minute 17 there, you don't want to risk that third foul. Eric Krause is going to use his third timeout of the game, which is a little bit unusual when you've got a 20-point lead. But, you know, Krause is always coaching. From the, I think from the moment he wakes up to the moment he goes to sleep, and he probably draws X's and O's while he's sleeping. And you got to know that when he goes to bed, he has no timeouts left. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Glad you could be yeah. with us for high school basketball here on MPS TV. There's a look at the Dow High Charger bench. Well, things are getting a little bit better. Uh, we're starting to see a little bit better uh, ball flow on the offensive side. But uh, Dow isn't shooting as well as uh, I think that they advertise. I'm talking to Mark Dickerson. He said that that was one of their strengths was their shooting and haven't seen it quite yet, but it's a matter of just getting your nerves uh, taken care of and uh, just taking your shot. And speaking of uh, Mark Dickerson, his son is putting up some good basketball numbers as a uh, player for Calvary Baptist as uh, he just reached the 1,000 career point mark. So uh, congratulations to the Dickerson family. Kind of a unique relationship with uh, Mark Dickerson Coaching Dow High doesn't watch a lot of his son's games live, but nonetheless, it uh, you know it, it's a relationship that works. And the younger Dickerson just doing a great job at Calvary Baptist. Yes, yeah, he he's a very good player. I've had a chance to see him play a couple of times. Calvary Baptist uh, joining the MHSAA, so they will obviously not be in the, the same league with the Chemics or Chargers, but they will be playing starting next year in MHSAA tournaments. 
foul during the battle for the rebound is going to go against the Kimmicks. Now, with their enrollment, they shouldn't have to play Dow and Midland. Oh, no, they won't. They, uh, nope. they need to find like uh, enrollment will, groups. They will be down. Uh, I'm sure they'll be linked into the same district as a, uh, a Coleman, maybe a Fickard Hart. Under a minute to go, 45 seconds on the clock. The Dow High Chargers working with the basketball. Sam Drake, nice spin move, and then gives it up to Soraki. Soraki feeds underneath and a great pass to Jacob Stone, and Stone will be fouled. He will go to the free throw line. Well, it will be a small victory if uh, Dow can get up to 10 points at halftime, but uh, not a lot of momentum for them yet. Stone able to get the free throw to fall through. We mentioned he's back in action after being out with a hip injury. There we and go. Stone hitting both of the free throws for Dow High. 37 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Midland High works the ball over to strike. Clock is not running. And that'll be a well, that'll be a benefit for Midland. That gives them a few more uh, few more minutes, seconds to work with. On the far side, Strike feeds the ball over to Money. Money working baseline. I don't know that Mark Dickerson was aware that the clock didn't, didn't move for about seven or eight seconds. We would be at the end of the second quarter. Instead, Midland High still with a chance to put points on the board. Zach Strike, three-pointer. Count the bucket. Zach Strike takes advantage of a malfunctioning clock in Midland High, leading 29 to 10. Shot taken by Dow at the buzzer, does not fall through, and we have made it to halftime. Now the Chargers scored first, but from that point on, Tom, it was all Midland High as the Kimmicks controlling the pace, putting up the baskets, and Midland High with a 29 to 10 lead here at halftime. And I know Mark is not going to be very happy with the fact that his team has only been able to uh, score 10 points in the first half. That's not a uh, formula uh, for, for victory. And I think his, his team has just got, got to settle down. First of all, play a little bit stronger on defense. They were getting some steals, some uh, deflections, but they didn't turn into too many baskets. Well, they went almost, what, 10, 12 minutes of playing time without scoring a basket. Yeah. From yeah, the, uh, they, from, uh, from the uh, seven minute mark of the first quarter to under five minutes in the second quarter without scoring. That, yeah. as you mentioned, Mark Dickerson's not gonna be happy about that. Yeah, and you know, they didn't seem rattled, but things just, they weren't prepared, maybe mentally, for what they were about ready to see. And, uh, you know, it's, it probably befuddles uh, Mark the most. Uh, where's my team tonight? Uh, we are at halftime. The Midland High Kimmicks using a strong defense pressure to build a lead over Dow. Kimmicks leading 29 to 10. Second half coming your way. You're watching high school basketball on MPS TV. We are back at Midland High. It's high school basketball on MPS TV. Glad you could be with us. We are at halftime with the Midland High Kimmicks leading the Dow High Chargers 29 to 10. The Kimmicks using defensive pressure and, and getting the key shots at the key times in the first half to lead the way. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. And Tom, we'll put your uh, coaching hat back on. Of course, you spent years roaming the sidelines as a basketball coach. So well, let's start with Midland High. The new defensive scheme appears to be working. You've got a comfortable lead, although when you're a coach, I don't think a lead like this is ever super comfortable. Well, you never feel sorry for your opponent. I mean, they're struggling to get everything they can get, and they're at 10 points, and you're comfortable with that. You want your players to play just as hard as the, the second half as they did in the first half and continue to refine what he's been trying to coach in, in practice. You'll notice that he is spending an awful lot of energy over there 
pointing to where guys need to go and, and hurrying them up to try to double team a guy on a drive. So they've got some growing to do with that part. And you've got, you know, Isaiah Bridgeshift, your leading scorer in the uh, in the contest with nine points, but really balanced scoring by this Midland High basketball team. Yeah, we, we've got White with six and Gordon with four and Money with three. So the points are coming from a lot of different directions. For Dow High, you've got uh, four points by Molinar, and then Zeitler has two, Stone has two, and Jude has two. And that's it. And... Uh, Mark really demands more of his team, and he's going to see them respond in the second half. Yeah, there's no other way to cut it if you talk about the Dow High Chargers. Poor shooting in the first half. You've got 10 points in a boys' varsity basketball game. There's no way Mark Dicker said is happy with what happened. So what was the talk like in the locker room? You know, Mark Dickerson is a very calm individual. I can't imagine, you know, the paint was peeling off of the locker room walls. But... You've got to motivate these players. You've got to expect, as you mentioned, he expects more than 10 points a half. Well, I coached under a rather volatile coach a long time ago that used to tell me, when I'm done talking to this team, I want you to pick up the pieces of my, my clipboard because that's what he was going to do. He was going to throw the clipboard against the wall, and my job was to pick up the pieces as the JV coach. And it really got his team, you know, aware that they're in a ball game and tr trying to get them uh, focused on what they, they need to do to uh, to get back into this game. Now, he's cool, calm, and collected there, but I'm sure that he wasn't a couple minutes ago. I'm, I'm sure that's not the case, and I really expect Al High to come out here in the third quarter shooting the, the basketball much better than what we saw in the first half. Uh, so here we go, third quarter action here at Midland High, the first of two regular season meetings between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. They'll play in late January over at Dow High. Get a chance, check out uh, the Midland Public School website. You can watch the games on the website. You can watch the games on YouTube. Of course, games airing on MCTV and MPS TV as well. You can check out the Sunday edition of the Midland Daily News. And speaking of the Midland Daily News, Dan Chalk celebrating a birthday today, and he's here covering the game, so you can read his recap of the contest, knowing that he is working on his birthday, is Mr. Chalk. There's the uh, Midland Public Schools website address, and of course, high definition on YouTube as well. We've got hockey airing, wrestling, girls basketball, boys basketball, a lot of winter activities here on MCTV and MPS TV. I always feel sorry for people with birthdays near Christmas. They get a card saying happy birthday and oh yeah, Merry Christmas yeah. too. My, my mom's birthday is three days after Christmas. <laughs> That's too bad. Isaiah Bridges into the paint for Midland High as the third quarter's underway. Big lead for the Kimmicks and a nice move there by Strike, but we're gonna have a foul on the floor called against the Dow High Chargers. They've corrected the timeout situation, so Eric Krause only used two timeouts. Mark Dickerson used one. So Eric does have three timeouts remaining here in the second half. Isaiah Bridges from inside the paint. He's in double digits with that bucket. 11 on the night for Bridges. 21-point advantage for Midland High. Chargers working the ball to Anthony Zeitler over to Isaac Molinar. Molinar feeds it to Jacob Stone. And there's a nice pass inside, but unable to get the bucket as Molinar gets his own rebound, and the Chargers will have to work it back out. Try to go inside, knocked away. John White with a nice defensive play for Midland. Well, one thing this defense for Midland High is doing is making Dow hurry every shot. Bridges, and we're going to have a charging foul called. Lost control of the ball, then he lost control of himself, and he will commit the foul. Isaiah Bridges goes 6-4. It's hard to stop that. You can't just stop on a dime when you're that big. True. It takes True. A He's got a lot of momentum going to the basket. It takes some courage for someone to stand in his way. We're just underway in the third quarter of this crosstown battle. Going into the paint, nice move by Molinar. Read the situation well, and Isaac Molinar drives it in for the Chargers. Six points on the night for Molinar. 
31 to 12. Midland High with the lead. Dow High went on a long scoring drought in the first half. That has made the difference in this game. Henry Kessler works the ball for Midland. Kessler drives in. Nice read by Kessler. Can't get the bucket to go. Chargers will get the rebound. And a reach out. No, they're going to call a travel. Strong defense. Mark Dickerson doesn't like the call. Thought that Kessler should have been called for a foul. Instead, the travel called, and Tom, it looks like you agree with the travel. I do. I mean, he was fouled, but after he took his third step. Midland High, John White with the ball. White feeds it out over to Christian Gordon. Now White working inside. Nice move underneath by Alexander. Couldn't get the shot to go, but the putback by White does fall through. Devin Alexander starting that series of plays for Midland High. Dow High on the baseline. Put back is successful for Jacob Stone. Four points for Stone. Returning from injury tonight, as is Nick Siraki. Driving in, but blocked. Gordon underneath, but the putback falls through. Devin Alexander, 6'4", senior, putting the bucket in for Midland High. 35-14 in favor of Midland. The Kimmicks coming into this game three and two, and there's a great steal. Alexander will come back the other direction. Christian Gordon, now baseline, John White, and the jump ball will be called. Possession arrow will be favoring down high. Very good defensive effort along the baseline for down high. Uh, Molinar held his spot, and. Uh, found a way to clamp on the, onto the ball. Justin Drabick will check in for the Chargers. Dow High one and three on the season. Their only victory over Beaverton in the season opener, but with the number of uh, injuries that the Chargers have been dealing with, and they've kind of, you know, they're, they're a team that's gonna get better if the season goes on. Ball was on the ground, never went out of bounds. Kimmick's come away with it. Alexander puts the bucket in for Midland. Mark Dickerson wants a timeout because Devin Alexander is on fire, as are the Kimmicks. Seven points for that youngster on your screen right now. He is fired up in this Midland High team, building to a 37-14 lead. It is all Kimmicks tonight. And he's been in the right place at the right time for some of these putbacks, and uh, he, he, he's put the ball in. And uh, the, the lead just continues to expand here in the third quarter. Biggest lead of the contest for Midland High. Eric Krause, you know that he is pleased with what he has seen because you know this is a Midland High team that when he changes his style and went to that more defense-oriented or game, it's going to. It took a couple of weeks, took a couple of months. One, Eric Krause, just now getting comfortable with this style of play. It's something that he has not done before in his, you know, 17 plus years. As a, as a coach, this is very interesting, the fact that I think tonight everything is clicking and gelling for the first time. And he said that it is difficult in practice because he's kind of learning the nuances of it along with his team, and they'll stop and they'll say, okay, how are we going to cover this? Because it's leaving somebody open down below. The players have some input. And we talked about it in the first half, but I love the fact that you know, he has been very honest with, with us that he's got a new passion for coaching. If you do anything for a while, you know, there's lows and valleys and highs and lows. And I think Eric Krause wanted something to, to reignite that passion. And this basketball team on the floor this year for Midland has definitely re, re, reignited his passion. And uh, it really fits the, uh, the personnel that he has, too. He's got a lot of very quick players. Midland High with the basketball and a lead with just over four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Working inside of the paint, Alexander. Beautiful hook shot by Alexander. He is having a terrific second half for Midland High. Nine points for Alexander. All nine in the second half, Tom. And there's a great drive by Dow High. And Molinar will go to the free throw line for the Chargers. Well, Alexander had one in the first half and eight in the second half. 
Isaac Molinar on the free throw line looking to complete a three-point play for the Chargers. Jacob Thompson has checked into the game for the Chargers. Molinar averaging 19 points a game. He's got nine right now. Chargers putting a little more pressure defensively on the Midland High Kimmicks. A little too much pressure that time by Molinar resulting in a foul. It seems like all levels uh, with the officiating is really watching the hand check. You know, that they, they want the players to move their feet rather than dictate where their uh, offensive player goes on defense. Three fouls now on Molinar. He finds himself in foul trouble as Midland throws the ball away. Drew Barry has checked into the game. He is just a freshman for this Midland High team. A lot of basketball in uh, that family. Maddie Barry, older sister, and of course, uh, Kelly Jaster, the mom. As Dow High reigns in a three-pointer, Jacob Stone hitting a three, but Drew Barry as a freshman is going to be a good player in, a, in the next couple of years. Yeah, he's, he's the only freshman on the team, and he does see some, some important time. Not a ton of minutes, but as a freshman, you really need to be playing. Midland High trying to work their way out of a Charger press. Contact made at midcourt, no whistle. Midland High will maintain possession of the ball. The Kimmicks leading by 19 with 3.15 to go here in the third quarter. Kessler working baseline, now feeds it out to Al Money, who's checked in, now gives it to Drew Barry. We were just talking about you. Barry hitting the three-pointer for Midland High. The second half weapon. <laughs> well, between him and Alexander, a couple of players coming off the bench and playing incredibly well for Midland High. Molinar inside, can't get the bunny to go. Isaiah Bridges will come away with the ball for the Kimmix. I think Molinar thought that he had gotten uh, fouled, and he probably did, but uh, doesn't count if the official doesn't blow the whistle. Barry working the ball, now over to Money. We've got an experienced officiating crew working the contest tonight inside, and there's a foul that will send Isaiah Bridger to the free throw line. First now is as good a time as any time for my usual spiel about officiating. So if you would like to become a high school official, you can head online to mhsaa.com and Follow the link of uh, officiating, find out how to register, find out how to join a local association, and find out how you can get involved in becoming a high school official. It's easy to do from the stands, not as easy to do once you're out on that field, but the need for officials is uh, greater than ever in all sports. It doesn't have to be basketball. It can be uh, you know whatever sport that you enjoy, whether it be you know, tennis, soccer, lacrosse, baseball, softball, football, doesn't matter. We need officials who can make big calls like Kevin Sanaki just made there. A charge called against Dow. Mark Dickerson doesn't like it, but the charge is going to be on Isaac Molinar, and that is the fourth foul on Molinar. And they cannot afford to lose him. He's kind of the quarterback of the team, but you know, Dickerson has said that his team doesn't have a natural point guard. They just kind of do the point guard stuff by committee. Molinar goes to the bench. Nick Soraki comes in. That ball was deflected away. Chargers really picking up the defense. They've got nothing to lose at this point, so they're playing a lot more aggressive than what they did before, but Tom Fitch is going to be called with a foul. He doesn't like it. Well, when you're playing with that intensity and you're frustrated by what has happened so far, the Chargers, the one thing they have to do is make sure they keep their emotions in check. Yeah, the game, we've got a ways to go. We've got uh, 10 more minutes to this game. Three-pointer taken by Gordon is no good. Rebound by Bridges, the bucket and the foul. Isaiah Bridges will have a chance for a three-point play. The foul called on Seitler. 
Kimmicks are in the bonus as well. So everything going the way that Midland High has wanted it to go here tonight. Bridges able to complete the free throw. Biggest lead of the game for Midland High. Into the paint. Spin move by Dre Beckett. He will go to the free throw line. The foul called on Bridges. It's the fourth one. So a couple of players, one on each team, finding themselves in foul trouble. So Bridges is going to head to the bench after this first free throw shot as Drabeck is able to make the free throw. Justice Drabeck, 6'3", junior for the Dow High Chargers. Well, defensively, this is the best I've seen Midland High play in a long time. They're defending almost every shot. Both free throws are good for Drabeck. 47-22 is where we stand score-wise. 1.45 to go here in the third quarter. A very physical third quarter of play. Midland High trying to get the ball across midcourt. Couldn't do it. Pressure by the Dow High Charger defense, and that is something that has really been picked up here in the third quarter. If you're Dow, you've got a long way to go to, to come back, but it starts by forcing turnovers like that. But then you do that, and it goes right back the other direction. Drag of the pivot foot because Midland High was cutting off all passing options. This has turned into a defensive battle. Kessler will check back into the game for Midland. Kimmich with the ball, getting across midcourt this time around, and Gordon will drive it in, but can't get the bucket to go. Chargers come back the other way. Trebek will feed it across to Tomsich. Tomsich pulls back, three-pointer, count it. Jacob Tomsich, he's a junior for this Dow High Charger team, had a huge game against Saginaw Heritage, where he scored 23 points. It's a three-pointer there to cut the deficit down. Al Bunny on the other side, count the three-pointer. Tick for talk, Allen Money hits the three. Six points on the night for Money. 25 point lead with under a minute to play here in the third quarter. Tomsich pulls up, shot is no good. Ball's on the ground, Chargers will come away with it. Lay it in for Nick Siraki. The junior puts the basket in for the Chargers. Again, more pressure defensively, but Midland able to get down court. Money. Open on the side, decides not to shoot it. 30 seconds to go. Kemmicks may be waiting for the final shot of the quarter. But Dow High playing very aggressive defense. Gordon working, had the ball stripped, recovered, forces the shot, no good. Rebound by John White, 15 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Henry Kessler with the ball, clock down to 10, feeds to Money. Money goes inside to Alexander. Alexander spin move, shot is no good. Rebound by the Chargers. More time than what he thought. Ooh. Launches a long shot, but the Chargers hurried that shot. They had time to, to get a little bit closer as the third quarter comes to an end. Midland High in control of the contest. Kimmich leading 50 to 27. That last shot that Stone took, it looked good from here. I mean, we don't get any depth reception left or right. But uh, it seemed to be one of those that could bank in. High school basketball here on MPS TV. Glad you could be with us for all the action here tonight. The coverage of this game produced by volunteers and staff. And if you would like to become an MCTV volunteer, you can do so by heading to uh, one of several orientations that will be taking place in the MCTV studio. The first Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday of most months. Call for details. The phone number on your screen, 837-3474. The cost, just $45, which includes your first year membership as an access user for MCTV. Visit the City of Midland website. We're also available on Facebook. And it, uh, there's a longtime volunteer, Mr. Jim Malik, Mr. MCTV. And he's running camera for us tonight. You can be like Jim and become a uh, MCTV volunteer. Jim just loves this picture being taken. I heard rumors that they're developing a bobblehead doll of, of Jim. That would be awesome. 
That would a Jim Malik bobblehead. That is, can we Bobble. invest? Yeah, Kevin, can we invest in that? I, I think that is something. That is something that, that we need to do. The, the Jim Malik bobblehead. Make it a Jim Malik bobblehead night. That would be awesome. <laughs> Here we go, fourth quarter underway, and of course volunteering can be all kinds of fun, so we encourage you to become an MCTV volunteer. If uh, sports aren't your thing, you can help, you can produce your own show. If you've got a topic, something on your mind, you know, a lot of people use Facebook to voice their opinion. You can use MCTV to voice your opinion. Or you can do a podcast. <laughs> yes, I, I may why do not? that. I'm, I, I just found out recently that MCTV offered podcasts. I'm really intrigued by that. I, there, there is definitely, there may be some podcasting in my future, Tom. Well, good. <laughs> good for you. <clears throat> yeah. Those are audio discussions, by the way, of podcasts. I'll, I'll, I'll help you out. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Just audio? Just audio. No pictures? No. Okay. <laughs> John White on the free throw line for Midland High, able to get the free throw to fall through. Midland High playing great basketball. We talked about it a little bit earlier, Tom. This may be, as uh, Mark Dickerson calls a timeout, this may be the best game. Midland High's got a three and two record, but this may be the best game that Midland has played this season. This season? I, I would agree. I, I think that there's a lot of emotion in this game, and I think that Midland uh, ro ro rose up to that level, and Dow, for whatever reason, they were kind of shell-shocked early. That one first basket uh, could have gotten them rolling, but it didn't. I mean, it, it was a long time to basket number two, so uh, it's been a tough night for Dow. Yeah, the scoring summary of this contest, just that, that long scoring drought, and Midland was able to take advantage. You know, Midland's played their game, and Dow High struggled in the first half, and that has led to where we are now with a 51-27 lead for Midland High. But, you know, the season is a long one, and they've got their uh, Saginaw Valley season coming up, and uh, you, you, you got to keep the troops together and keep aggressive and look for silver linings here. Chargers with the basketball, Scott Stoltz. End of the game, as is Shane Jude, so some new faces on the floor here in this half. Isaac Molinar playing with four fouls back out on the floor as well. There's a three-pointer take it by Stoltz, but it's no good. Al Money will get the rebound for Midland. Henry Kessler, a senior leader, although Kessler's been relatively quiet tonight in his uh, scoring. Money now working the ball, passes across over to John White, goes to Isaiah Bridges. Yeah, Kessler just has three points tonight. That is uh, somewhat unusual for him. But Midland has had great balanced scoring during this contest. Al Money, three-pointer counted. Al Money coming off the bench. He has got nine points, all three-pointers for Money. Answering the call on the other end, Sam Drake will put the three-pointer up for the Dow High Chargers. Just over six minutes to go. Al Money left open again, and a nice hesitation saw the defense pressure coming. Money to Bridges as the Kimmicks work the ball around the perimeter with a very comfortable lead. Henry Kessler will feed it in. Chargers tried to keep it in play and did so. Sam Drake with a nice uh, nice defensive play there for the Dow High Chargers. You love the fact that everybody's playing hard, even though there's a 24-point difference in this contest. Well, Bridges has got to be real careful because uh, he's got four. Inside, Garrett Daniels will be fouled. Daniels, usually the sixth player in the game, has some height to his advantage, but he's been quiet tonight. Garrett Daniels on the free throw line for the Chargers. Alexander, 
Devin Alexander will check back in for Midland. Out does Christian Gordon. Alexander had a huge third quarter, really sparking this Midland High team. Yes, he, he did. He ended up with eight, eight of his nine points in that third quarter alone. On the free throw line, Daniels able to get the shots to rein in. Midland High across midcourt. Al Money feeds it inside underneath the paint, and we're going to have a foul called. It's going to be on the floor. It will be a one-and-one one situation, so Alexander will go to the free throw line. The foul called on Sam Drake, who now has four fouls as well, so a couple different chargers finding themselves in foul trouble. Well, good coaches find teachable moments uh, in every single game, whether you're winning or losing. The That's free throw was no good, but the rebound by Midland High. Just over five minutes to go. It's been all Midland. Isaiah Bridges doesn't get the foul call. Chargers will come back the other direction. Molinar, they're going to call a charge, and that will be the fifth foul. On Isaac Molinar, the leading scorer for the Dow High Chargers, will head to the bench. And how about the fact that three of the five fouls on Molinar were charges? And, uh, you know, maybe that's frustration. You know, uh, maybe, de you know, he did not really have a drive to the basket. As soon as he raised his forearm, uh, that, that was it. So. So Molinar leads the game and the Dow High Chargers without their leader, although they do have a couple of players in the contest looking to step up, which I'm sure Mark Dickerson would love to see somebody play hard, maybe earn playing time. You know, sometimes when games have uh, already been decided, it's moments like this, the final four minutes of a game, that somebody steps up and earns the attention of the coach and says, hey, I want playing time. Yeah, you know, and if you've got somebody that's uh, really showing a good uh, confidence stroke, uh, that, that that's going to be very valuable down the road. But, uh, yeah, Molinar finished the game uh, tonight with uh, just nine points, uh, quite a few below his season average. Christian Gordon on the free throw line for Midland High. Uh, that was indicative of a football player shooting free throws. He was like uh, a tremendous player for Midland High this fall, and he's joined the team and is a great athlete. Yeah, not the best free throws uh, that time around. Well, but not yet. Driving in, no basket, no whistle for Jacob Stone. And now Midland will come back in the, the other direction. There are several of these Midland High players, Al Money, Christian Gordon, among others, playing a lot of basketball, a lot of football before the basketball season even started. Isaiah Bridges reining it in. And now I, I thought we had a timeout uh, call, but apparently we don't. Well, I think it's an injury. Uh, Stone went down on his hip and basically crawled off the court. So I suspect that he's done for the night. Yeah, and that's not something that the Chargers want to see. Jacob Stone, this is his first game back after recovering from a hip injury, and the fact that he may have re-injured that hip, uh, we definitely hope that is not the case, but uh, it appears that Jacob Stone uh, may have another uh, visit to the trainer or doctor coming up sooner than later. Well, I don't know if they have any games before between Christmas and New Year's, but he'll have a chance to kind of rest that before January starts. Four minutes to go. It's been all Midland High, 57 to 32. This is the non-Valley matchup. These two teams will meet in late January. And we've got a foul called. It's uh, one and, well, actually it'll be a double bonus coming up for the Midland High Chemics. We'll have uh, lots of opportunities in the final four minutes of this game. But Christian Gordon, if you're going to foul, if you're Dow, Gordon may be the player to foul. Well, this is a sign to see if he can make the adjustment. Now that was a much better shot. That was better. Didn't it go in, but it was much better. Sam Drake is going to check back in. He's playing with four fouls. And Christian has been a welcome addition to uh, uh, the, the team just because he's such a great athlete. And he made it. And he made it. Yep. Tomsich working the ball for Dow. Now 
At the top of the key to Justin Trebek, working it around. How about Shane Jude with a shot? No good. Rebound by Drake. He's going to put it back up. That shot is no good. Rebound pulled down by Kessler. Stolen away. Well, almost. Sam Drake plays very aggressive defense. I really enjoy watching him. He's had a couple of near steals during the during this game. That it, it's fun to watch him. Yeah, you know, you get these guys that uh, don't mind getting on the floor a little bit like Matt McQuaid of the Spartans. Three-pointer, Al Money, no good. Drake will get the rebound for the Chargers. Headed back the other direction, stolen away. Al Money will come up with a steal. Money slowing down the pace. Kimmich are in no need of scoring points, so they want to run their offense and take the final three minutes off the clock here tonight. Isaiah Bridges, baseline fade away, no good. Rebound by Drake. Thompson pulls up for a three-pointer, count it. The junior, Jacob Thompson. Did they call that a three? Yes, it was a three. Okay. Underneath, Alexander puts the bucket in for Midland High. He has 12. A great, great night for him. Yeah, coming off the bench and playing very well. Drake, three-pointer. No good. Rebound, Isaiah Bridges will bring it down. Two minutes to go. Next stoppage, we're going to get some more fresh faces into this game. Midland High working the ball wide open. Alexander underneath. Nobody around. Alexander will get the bucket and will have a chance for a three-point play. All kinds of players about to come in, but I tell you what, Devin Alexander may be my pick for MVP of the game, just the way he came out in the second half, just off the bench and putting up the points. Dow never saw him coming. I mean, he, he has been very sly on the inside, uh, you know, underneath the basket. He's done really well. The Dow High Chargers will call a timeout. 62 to 35 is where we stand score-wise. That you know, Midland High really controlling this contest. But I have a hunch that uh, come January 25th, when these two teams meet again, we may have a, a little more competitive of a matchup. Yes, I, I think you're going to find that Dow will have enough time there to be able to run their their injured players into a smooth working unit that uh, we really didn't see tonight because they just haven't had them at their disposal. There's a look of the Kimmick student section. They've had a lot of things to cheer about in this boys basketball game here tonight. A great crowd that is on hand here at Midland High to, uh, to watch the action. For the Midland High Kimmicks, they have they have done things the way that they have been waiting to do things all season long. So you know that Eric Krause is going to be very pleased because this is a game that Midland High can build on. You've got a little bit of a break. You can rest up, and th this is what Eric Krause wants to see. And with this new fangled defensive philosophy, uh, the, the team is, one, they're really believing in it, and, and two, it's making the game so much more fun that they're, they're getting the ball a, a lot more often back into their hands. Alexander completing the three-point play. Nicholas Long will come into the game. A lot of new faces that we'll uh, try to get to in the final two minutes of this contest. Thompson is in a new face, and he rains down a three-pointer for the Dow High Chargers. Midland High's got Drew Barry back in the game. Zach Strike will be working the guard duties for Midland. Justin Ardner is out there as well, and we uh, just mentioned Nick Long that has entered the contest. And Chris Swanson is out there. So some, some players okay. off the bench for Midland High, which is great to see. You never know when you're going to need somebody to step up. You never know an injury or foul trouble will affect the game. So the fact that these players are going to get about two minutes of playing time is instrumental. And being a guy that came off the bench uh, in high school solely at the end of the bench, it spurs you on in practice. That you go to practice thinking, wow, you know, I, I actually played last night. <laughs> Tom Fitch has played well here in the fourth quarter for the Dow High Chargers. 
Midland High breaking it with Chris Swanson. Working over to the far side, Drew Barry with a bounce pass inside to Ardner. Ardner's shot is no good. Rebound by Dow High. Drabick will pull it down. Now Scott Stoltz will put up a three-pointer. Count it. Scott Stoltz hitting the three, making this a 20-point game with under a minute to go. That looks a little bit better in the uh, box score. Midland High, oh, he could have taken a shot from in the paint. Instead, he passed it down. No place to go, and a block from behind. The ball goes out of bounds. Garrett Daniels coming up with the block. Sometimes when you are a new player coming off the bench, you're a little hesitant to put the ball up, but I would have liked to have saw Drew Barry go up with that shot. Barry's got the basketball now. That pass off the mark goes out of bounds. So it's going to stay Midland High basketball. 33 seconds to go before the Kimmicks can celebrate a win. And it is a decisive one. And a foul that is going to be called against uh, Stoltz. Well, we had three foul three. That doesn't happen every game. So, Zachary Strike will go to the free throw line for Midland. He is a junior. He is a soccer player. That is his Stand first sport. Out. He is a... You know, so, er Eric Krause is really working with a lot of players, some that obviously football is their top sport, their number one priority. Strike's case, soccer is the top priority. But the fact that he has got these players to come out and play basketball is definitely something that the MHSAA says, let's do. Let's let's not focus on one sport, be a multiple sport athlete. Exactly. Underneath and the shot taken by Garrett Daniels. Bucket falls in. We've got 15 seconds to go. Chargers still playing hard defensively. Nearly came up with a steal. And Garrett Daniels is going to force the, uh, the jump ball. That is something Mark Dickerson will be happy with. You're down by, you know, almost 20 points. You've got 10 seconds to go in a contest, and you're still playing, trying to get the jump ball, trying to get the ball back. Yeah, and at the same time, Eric Krause is going to say that uh, the guards have to communicate with one another, trying to break the press. I don't think Strike knew the double team was coming. Midland High will inbound with the final seconds. They don't need to, well, they don't even need to uh, cross center court. No. They can just dribble this game out and take a victory as the Midland High Kimmicks improved to four and two on the season. The Chargers will drop down to one and four. But this game, the first basket was scored by Dow. But from that point on, Tom, this was Kimmick basketball through and through. Yeah, Dow just never really got comfortable on the offensive side. Uh, even at the end, we had Tomsic hitting a couple of threes from the side. They got a couple of baskets in, in the paint, but uh, Midland High really dominated this game offensively and defensively. Yeah, strong Midland High basketball. I'm sure Eric Kraus very pleased with what he witnessed tonight for Midland High. Chargers, as we uh, talked about, a couple of new players coming into the game returning from injury here tonight. So that's going to take a little bit of practice, a little bit of, you know, maybe a game yeah. or two to get everything in sync for the Dow High Chargers who struggled shooting in the first half, and that really made a difference in the game, combined with the fact that Midland High's new defense was fun to watch tonight. And their players are buying into it. That's the most important part. You can have a, a newfangled defense that gets them running everywhere, but this one really works. Uh, leading scorers, we had uh, Isaiah Bridges with 19, and we had uh, Devin Alexander with 15 for, for Dow, or for Midland High. And for Dow, uh, didn't really have anybody that got uh, double figures. We've got nine with Molinar and nine for, for, for Tomsic. So the Midland High Kimmicks will come away with the victory here tonight, 63-45. to 45. Isaiah Bridges, the, the leading scorer tonight there, Tom, but I really liked the play of Devin Alexander, and uh, he, he came through off the bench, had a great second half for the Kimmicks. For as much as, as uh, Bridges was able to play at the top of the key rather than down on the block, 
They had Alexander down on the block, and he did a lot of damage that down there uh, to the chagrin of, of the Dow Chargers. So the Midland High Chemics will go into the holiday season with a victory, improving to four and two, and a dominating performance for Midland High here tonight. Tom Bow, I wish uh, you and Gene the very merriest of uh, Christmases, and of course uh, we'll be back to do it uh, one more year. 2019 will be how many years? 22. 22 years I of uh, broadcasting high school sports. I wouldn't uh, want, wouldn't want another partner by my side during basketball <laughs> than you. So have a great holiday, Tom. Hey, Jason. You, you, you too. You, you and Holly. And we hope you and yours have a great holiday season as well. The Midland High Chemics celebrating a win at boys basketball tonight. For all of the staff and volunteers, you're going to see their names come across your screen in just a couple of moments. If you know them, be sure to tell them thank you for bringing high school sports to MPS TV. Final score tonight, Midland High 63, Dow High 45. Good night.